Luann, how are you today? This is a Bramble Fox layout. I am using the new items that are in the shop for February in the February Fox box. I have left pictures of those in the video for you, but I wanted to show you really quick all the stuff that's available. Isn't that cute? So there's that. And then oh, look at this pink mirrored memories. Oops. And that swirl heart. And I'm in love with that one says love you always and it's like a frosted clear kind of perspective if it can be frosted and clear at the same time <laughs> so there's other items in those packages too I want to show them to you but before we did that look at the new things in the shop too these are 12 by 12 and they're used you can trace them or do mixed media or whatever you want but they're for tearing and of course it's 12 by 12 but I just picked a scrap and then you just go like this it's so easy little snap of the paper so easy so those are available look it's perfect so you don't have to worry about not tearing your paper because sometimes that's a little scary so I'm using Felicity Jane today and what I did I did it off camera because I was a big butterfingers strip of washi tape pretty and this is a piece of paper that I ripped and then put washi tape in the middle of that and then I used that really cool border strip ripper whatever you want to call it um for that piece right there and then I just am using a couple little valentine colors and a piece of background paper from Felicity Jane Kind of looks like a piece of paper doesn't it so cool i am going to scrap this photo of me and my husband this is one of our favorite days together i have a little tray of things i'm thinking about using some gems and stuff over there so let's get going i'm thinking about using a couple bramble fox stencils can you see that yes look how cool that is you can use that to you can trace inside of it with a pen or you can ink blend or put mixed media like sparkles or anything through it and then make your own flowers and leaves gorgeous so this is going to be simple just a few pieces of paper over on the left hand side i got a piece of scrap i also used that um edge distressor tool from bramble fox to rip that edge and i'm just going to go something like this because i think this paper is pretty goes good with the photo and that's that so before we get going with the embellishments and all the bramble fox I'm going to use I was thinking let's go ahead and use some of this stencil I will use a couple distressed oxides I picked out cracked pistachio for the leaves and festive berries and spun sugar for the flowers simple as that we now have some stenciling on our background super pretty let me see if I can get it up close for you I got a couple smudges I'm not worried about it handmade right all right let's use some ATG and start getting some of this stuff stuff down I am going to leave my photo flat and not put any foam behind it I think that the uh, dimension from the beautiful Bramble Fox pieces will be just fine. And I can use the grid lines on this paper to keep my clusters and everything and put my photo down straight. I love that. Let me see if that's good. Um, maybe like this. A little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go ahead and put that down. Perfect. Now, um, I found a couple tags from the Felicity Jane, Jane collection. 
that I want to slide underneath there. And I should have thought about that before I adhered that down, but that's no problem. So I'll just put my tweezers underneath here and pop it up a little bit more. No worries. So I'm thinking maybe something like this, or I could put this on this side. Have this coming down here. Yeah, that might be cuter. I want it to be a long tag so I can put stuff there. Now I can go ahead and do that. Let me just see if that's what I want first. I think I'll move this over a little bit. Just like that. Okay, I cut my bow down and now let's do some embellishing. I've got a little tray of stuff over to the left hand side here that I think I want to use. Thinking about just putting a tag in here. I can stamp the date on that. That would be cute. I wonder what a double lay, um, layered tag would look like there. Let me get my tweezers. It's not bad. It's kind of cute. Brings in some of the black and white. So what I'll do is I'll put some ATG on this. And then adhere that down outside of the photo because then it will be easier. And some glue. And I'm going to tuck that in in the right spot here. So just like that. And look. So pretty. I'm going to put this right on my picture. Right like this. I think that'll look cute coming like that so let's go ahead and get that down I'll put a little glue on the back you can use glossy accents or whatever preference you have in your glue and I'm gonna put a very thin line because I don't want it seeping out the sides onto my photo and Right about there looks good. Hold that for just a second. And then what do we got next here? It's two little mini tab, not tabs, little tags, mini tags. I put a little string bow around it. I just thought they were super cute. And I was thinking about putting them right there like that. Okay, now next up we have this really cute tag. It says sweet on it. Is that not adorable? I just put a little bit of twine in it and made another little bow. I guess this layout is about bows today, huh? I'm going to just have it come over here off these tags. Add some dimension over on this side of the page as well. I have a bunch of butterflies and there's bramble fox hearts that come with the package this month. They're so cute. And the little envelopes with the heart in it. Now I really want to get these down. I love them. They're so cute. Put some glue on this. I'm thinking if I tuck one in right here, it'll look adorable. And just add a little bit to this little cluster. Like so. Give that a second to dry. Then I don't know if I can get this other one in, but we're going to try. I don't know where we could put it. Let's see. doesn't really look very good maybe I can get it over here this is a maybe I sort of like that right like this but let's see about these hearts I definitely want to get these in so let's do a red one and a pink one because that's adorable have it going like this or should we do like that? Yeah, that looks cute. Let's do that. Put a little bit of glue behind that and just place that right down on the paper. You give it just a second and then it adheres to the paper quickly. There we go. I think I'm just going to go for it, you guys, because it's cute and it's Valentine's and it matches. And there we go. Now, the other thing that I have is all these little fussy cup butterflies. They're so, so pretty from one of the Felicity Jane papers. 
thinking about just putting those down. I also had this heart. I don't know if that's going to look good anywhere, though. I don't need another one of those. No, I like the Bramble Fox hearts. That's good. So I think we're done decorating. I really do. Just want to put a bunch of butterflies on here. And let's see where we could do that. We have one there. Definitely think I want one right there. And then we can put one over here and cover up our little ink smudge. See, we can always cover up things. And then this one like that. And then perhaps one of these little guys needs a friend. Maybe this guy needs a friend like that and I can cover up my other little ink spot there. All right, I adhered my butterflies down and I ended up putting an extra one here because I put another little flower. I thought it needed something a little bit more on the top. What do you guys think? And of course, I smudged the green, so I just put a butterfly over it. No big deal. I'm going to try to paint these and see how it comes out. I'm just going to put a little Distress Oxide over here and put some water on it. I have this little squirt water bottle which gives a little teeny bit I'm going to try with the really light pink because then it'll be a very very light color in case I don't like it and if I really don't like it I can simply take it off and just go ahead and fussy cut another butterfly right all painted up they came out cute I like it and then that way it matches with the rest of everything else it looks good I think I'm going to maybe skip the little gems in the middle we'll see you know me I went through my Felicity Jane supplies here looking through the puffies and I thought I'd look through and see if there was anything on here that we wanted um I already got hearts. I don't want to mix different butterfly textures together. Oh, this is cute. Now, I'm wondering if I... Felicity Jane stuff has, like, super awesome sticks, so there's no way to say whether or not you like things. I think I like that. I'm going to put that right there just to bring in some more black and white. Yep, it's okay with me. All right, let's check this out. More hearts, which got these, don't want that. Oh, there's a cute arrow. I wonder if we can get that in. Oh, and I like this. Where can we put this? I was going to journal there, but how about here? That's fine with me. Wasn't. This is going to go into an album of everything we did on this whole vacation. So if I don't journal on this page, that'll be okay. These are um, epoxy dot stickers. So they're kind of like a little enamel dot. Let me see if they match. I don't think that they're from the same collection. So I'm not sure if they're going to match. But I do like the pink and the green. So let's think about where we can put some. Maybe we can put some right over here with this. Um, uh, two looks good there. Let's think about a couple up here. You can see right through them. That's cute. Put three there. Um, I can put some right here. ones there. Alright guys, I do like the splattered gesso 
um, it just adds a little something extra to everything. You can see it up close there, and of course I have it all over my hands, but there's the envelope with the love letter in it, and the sweet tag, and Bramble Fox Heart Perspectives, so cute. See the little gesso splatters? I love these, they're so adorable. That love perspective for the title is wonderful, I love that very much. And the awesome stencil from Bramble Fox, which I will link directly below, okay? So if you want to sign up for Bramble Fox, you can get a monthly subscription called the Fox Box. And then you'll have Bramble Fox exclusive products delivered right to your door every month. How fun is that? If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me or any of the design team members and follow me on Instagram and Bramble Fox on Instagram and both of us on YouTube if you wish. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll put close-ups at the end. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!